All right. Looks like we had technical difficulties with the last game we were going to play. A little bit of a bummer. It looked like a fun, scary game. But instead, it looks like today we're going to play Before I Forget. And I don't know much about this game. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. This should be something interesting for hopefully all of us. Um, and if you've seen this before, please, no spoilers. So we're going to just go ahead and start a new game and see where this goes. So you begin a new game. This will delete any existing save data. We don't have a save. Okay. Best played through in one sitting about an hour using headphones or with audio subtitles turned on in the settings menu. Okay. Well, we got the subtitles on anyway. So recommending either a controller or a mouse. Well, we're going to use mouse. Mouse and keyboard. <laughs> yeah, Jay Hero. Uh, new game. I uh, found this one about a week or so ago, and I thought, hey, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot. A um, little bummed out. We had another game that we were going to play called Get Out. Hadn't seen or heard of it before, but unfortunately that one wouldn't work. So that's why we're playing this. I'm also up to any future game recommendations as well, so feel free to leave those in the chat and I will look into them. Alright, let's begin. This is taking forever to load. I clicked begin. I'm not sure what's going on, Jay Hero. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's just taking its time loading. Again, I have slow computer. I am sorry. There we go. I may have to because it seems to be struggling a little bit. Very funny, very funny. I'm dying inside. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is blurry. Is it supposed to be like this? I guess it's because your character's supposed to have memory problems. I'm not sure. Where am I? Yeah, okay. Oh, we're blind. Legit. Is this the right place? Okay. Ah, uh, Dylan will know. I'll find him.
Got an envelope. Ooh. Oh, so it's like we color the world around us. Hey, I found glasses, Jay, here. We're good. <laughs> Gas bill overdue. We'll sort it together. Overdue? Why hasn't Dylan paid it? Okay. My first task is to find Dylan. Oh, wow. All of them say that. I guess we're just going to open a door. There's notes everywhere. Dentist on the 18th, 10.30 a.m. Dentist? I don't know what it is. How will I get there? Oh. Apparently it's the 12th. We just switch all of our lights on and off. Oh, that's not creepy at all. I got caught in the rain that day in the park. But you offered to share your umbrella. We walked slowly, even though the rain got heavier. Oh, okay, a memory. How do you like Amsterdam? It's beautiful, like stepping back in time. You're right, very carefully. Nothing else I can look at. Okay. A trophy. Scientific discovery of the year, 1975. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Wow, that sounds impressive. But I don't think it was me. Don't keep moving this. Okay. Magazine. Doctor or Modern Scientist Magazine. Indian cos cosmetologist. Oh, Sunita Appleby. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Cluster galaxies and the mystery of missing mass. Boldly going where no woman has been before. Build your own solar water heater. Hey, that sounds fun. That's me, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going.
We have another note. Why? That's Why a what? Oh, okay, so a graduation photo? That was before we met. I look so young. Dylan? Okay. Are you here? Live in concert. Dylan Appleby. Places Bach Goldberg Variations Amsterdam Concert. Hmm. 1967. I can hear you playing. Where are you? can't have seen it yet. He hasn't drawn the heart. <clears throat> oh, it's a wedding photo. Your brother almost made you late that day. Bought me this in Paris. Mommy, mommy. Okay. Mommy, mommy. Um, let's see. Okay, I see another note over here. There's a picture. No, it's a note. Okay, dinner at the bistro. Is that bistro? Nine p.m. XX Dylan. <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Oh, a little bistro. Oh, what time is it? Oh, I should get ready, put my makeup on. Oh, 
one of those uh, time counting things. Oh no. I have one of these too. Pretty color. I guess we uncover more as we go. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. I need the toilet. I'll go now before I meet Dylan. Um... Okay, what, um, okay. Was it this way? They look the same. I can't... Oh, how silly. Oh. Oh, that's concerning. Oh no, Hari Sunni, which door is it? either oh, come on quick oh please where did that hole come from it's locked remember what in the world oh, and Dylan he's not there oh that's weird oh, I hope he's put the kettle on
Who was that? How does she know my name? Lisa, it's Maria from the care agency. I've been really She said she's morning. coming for me. Please pick up the phone. Sunita? I should go. I will be but there soon. I'll wait for Dylan. I have a key, so I'll let myself in. Who was that? How does she know my name? She said she's coming for me. I should go, but I'll wait for Dylan. Okay, so a record. And another one. Hmm. Another one by Dylan. Pottery. Postcard. Greetings from India. Greetings from India. September 17th, 1971. Dearest daughter, Sunni, all is well here. Well, except for the gardener has retired, and I think the new one is stealing from the pantry. Oh, lovely. Daddy won't deal with it and told me not to bother about a few bits. But it's the principal. We are delighted that you found a home. When are you coming to visit? You both seem so busy. When will you have the time to start a family? You can't wait too long. Daddy told me not to meddle, but it's not meddling. I'm your mother. Postcards have... Postcards never have enough room. I'll write a letter soon. Tell us your news. All our love, Ma and Baba. Address to Sunita Appleton. Hmm. Must give them a ring. I haven't spoken to them in ages. June 2nd, 1996, dear Sunita, on behalf of the whole faculty, I want to thank you for your peerless contribution to the research and standing of this university. Your work has left a mark on our institution and the field of cosmetology. I speak for myself and all of your colleagues when I say that we are grateful to have had the opportunity to work with you on a personal and professional level. Thank you for everything, and we wish you all the best for your retirement and managing your condition. Yours sincerely, Desmond Powell, Dean of the Faculty of Cosmetology, Institute of Scientific Research and Culture. Okay, so she what was condition? very important. I'm fine. I'll call him. It's just a misunderstanding. I touch that computer. Ooh, stomach. Okay. Okay, you show me then, clever clogs. That's no fun, Dylan. You have to find it yourself. <laughs> As you wish, Professor. Not yet, I'm not. Bah. It's just a matter of time. So, guide me to this star. It's not a star, but all right. First, find Pegasus towards the bottom of the map. Um, Pegasus. Ah, I've got it. Its body is a giant box tipped on its corner, and the top left corner of the box is Alpha Rats.
This one? That's it. <laughs> hey, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> now count two stars up and follow along to the right. From there to Andromeda. All right. So, what am I looking at? The Andromeda Galaxy. It's 2.65 million light years away. And you can actually see it with the naked eye on a clear night. Imagine that. Well, you must show me properly. Sonny, do you think there could be another you and me in Andromeda looking back at us? Maybe. You know, my Leela auntie used to tell me the stories of the gods and the stars, but I can't really remember them now. story. Well, I guess all that's left what is... What was I doing? Oh, yes, Dylan. Where is he? This is your favorite spot to sit, scribbling a new piece. I created an email address for myself, so I'm writing you from America. The tour is going well, though I miss you very much. See you in a week. All my love. What happened? I hear the event was a disaster. All those months of work. If you weren't confident in presenting, I could have rearranged my schedule and stepped in. We should talk. Give me a call. Yikes. I've just heard that you're retiring. Are you all right? What about your research? I'm so shocked. Has Dylan convinced you to start a family? You don't have to give up everything. I can't imagine you're going. I can't believe you're going. Let's talk. I'll pop into your office for a cup. Sorry, I haven't been in touch. I don't know if you're still picking up your email, so I'll try to give Dylan a call. And we'll try and get together or something. No, no. What does class mean, disaster? You always made things difficult, but I could never say anything. Maybe he's taking a bath. <sighs> Not in here. Where are you? So, Sonny to the cosmologist, how about a coffee? There's a, there's a cafe over there. Okay. So my guess is if this woman's better than Well, if that's the way the umbrella's going, <laughs> maybe I should. A cup of tea would be nice. I hope Dylan's put the kettle on. One tablet to be taken once a day after food. Hmm. Should I take them? I don't feel sick. They can't be for me. Um, seriously, Jack? I don't want to fall. Right. 
I thought perhaps, now the tour is over, we could start trying. Let's wait. Just until my research is finalized. I shall use the stove if I want to. Who is Maria? Ham went off. I got you some cheese. That's silly. I bought ham yesterday. Maybe we can get a takeaway tonight. Then we don't have to cook. Who is leaving these notes? Okay, I got an arrow. Okay, what does it Why say? Why are they telling me what to eat? I can Flash decide for here. myself. Buy peaches? <laughs> we always need more peaches. No more peaches. But Dylan loves peaches. Cheese sandwich. I don't like cheese. It's so bland. Dylan knows that. Why would he make me cheese? Maybe he's getting forgetful. Peaches. Oh, Jesus. We need any more peaches. That door was grueling, but we stole a moment in San Francisco. Happy 40th birthday. To my darling Sonita, I love you more every year. Happy birthday. You always spoil me on my birthday. <laughs> Which year was that? We look older. Sad. Car? Congratulations. Dear Sunita, congratulations on your place at Cambridge. You really are following your dreams of going to the stars. Fondest wishes, Auntie Leela. I miss her stories. I should visit her soon. Tickets. Ticket summary and receipt. Endorsement. None. Name Appleby. November 29th of 94.
Amsterdam. That's where we met. Another memory. Breakfast in bed, Mrs. Appleby? Sounds perfect, Mr. Appleby. about this match guitar. Oh, okay, telescope. <laughs> um, okay. A clear sky. Perfect. Show me one of the story, Lila Auntie. All right. Let's start with an easy one. This is Taurus, the bull. Look to the east. Can you find the star at the tip of one of the horns? Okay, I think those are the horns. Look down to find the star. Got it. That's Svaha. She was desperately in love with Agni, the god of fire. But his love was focused elsewhere. That's sad. But I suppose at least she's a beautiful star now. True. Show me another, auntie. Hmm, let's see. This time... I will show you a constellation in the west. It has three stars close together. Can you see it? No, I can't. There are too many. Don't give up so easily, Suni. This star's light has traveled so very long, just so you could see it. Would you want its journey to be wasted? How long? Thousands and thousands of years. Fine, I'll look again. Look for the brightest star over to the west. Uh, I see it. Now head straight up and there will be three stars in a row. I see it, I see it. What is it called, Auntie? <laughs> Prajapati. One day, Prajapati was chasing one of his daughters. The gods saw and wanted to punish him. They called on Rudra, the god of storms and thunder, and asked him to punish Prajapati. He shot an arrow which flew fine and true and pierced Prajapati's waist. Those three stars you see are Rudra's arrow. Hmm. Whoa, how do you know these stories? When I was your age, Baba took me out to show me how everything that seems to matter doesn't really matter. The stars show us how small we are. Dang. Kind of put you into perspective. Wait, how? Lilanti? Where? Where did she go? Um, okay. He's in the kitchen. Uh, that's right, the kitchen is this way. Channel 
I'm so glad I persuaded him to get a tree for our first Christmas here. Okay, so everything just changed. I'm confused. Congratulations on your new home. Dylan, you're an inspiration to us all. We love you. Be happy always, Jenna and Connor. It's all a bit of a blur. It didn't rain though, even though Jenna thought it should. Dylan and Sunita, congratulations on your wedding. All our best wishes, the orchestra. Any good friends. What did I come out here for? Dear Sunita and Dylan, our thoughts and prayers are with you both on your special day. Ma and Baba. Oh, I wish they could have been here. Congratulations to my two favorite people. Enjoy your life together and many happy years in this. But all my love. No. Errol didn't forget the rings, Errol. at least. No. All of our love on your wedding day, remember. No. Remember no handle. Enjoy your life together. Sonny, Sonny, come look at this. Where would you go if you could go back in time? If it was possible, I'd stay just here and now. You smiled then, like you knew something. A marvelous secret. I'll set a place for Dylan. He'll be here soon. <sighs> it's getting late. I'll make us a cup of tea before bed. Stars, Leela Hunty. <laughs> we should be heading home now. No, Hunty, just one more, please. The seven rishis. I know, like life in the Mahabharata. Precisely, Sunni. The rishis were the seven sages who made the sun rise and warm us with its light. 
What else did they do? Well, first, the Rishi married Kritika, the seven sisters, and they all lived happily in the north sky. Come on, so look north. I'm looking. Can you see the four in a box? Oh, I see it. And three going up. Six, seven... What happened to them? One day, the Rishis prepared an offering to Agni, and he emerged from the flames. He instantly fell in love with the sisters. But he couldn't be with them because they're married. Exactly. So what did he do? He was tormented by his love for the Kritika and took to wandering. One day in the forest, he met Svaha, who loved him, although he didn't know it. She disguised herself as six of the seven sisters. Did it work? Did he love her forever? Sadly, no. The Rishi thought their wives had been unfaithful and left them. Nobody was happy. Not every story can have a happy ending, Sunni. Not even for the gods. different room again. Where are you, Dylan? Why are you never here? I need to know. I know I'm not the only one that sees that dot on the ground. <laughs> I don't know what it is though. Where did the doorways go? Um... I don't like where this is going. Um...
No, you just decided. I don't want to talk about this. Not when you're like this. Why did we always come second? You didn't. You were pressuring me. We always said, though. Well, things changed. Exactly. You changed. But you never told me. Goldberg variation is still in apathy. to December 1st, 1999. Funeral service will take place on Tuesday, December 14th, 1999 at St. Michael's Church, Campton Town at 1.30. Oh my God, that's sad. His fingertips and the cosmos in his arms. Time for personal reflection. Prelude and okay, Lord's Prayer. Missing him. There it is, a green health bar with wow. I must be reading this wrong. What's it saying? Piano is still in Appleby dead. World class composer and concert piano is still in Appleby died in the early hours of yesterday morning, according, according to emergency services. He was involved in a car accident and died on arrival at St. Mary's Hospital, known for his poetic compositions <coughs> for piano as well as vibrant and moving performances. Appleby was both popular with the with audiences and the classical establishment, winning him many awards. He leaves behind him his wife, Sunita Appleby. No other casualties were involved in the incident. Tragically, his latest album is due to be released this Friday, a tribute to his wife entitled Song for Sunita. That would get put on hold. I stopped touring. What did you want me to do? I don't know, Dylan, but what I do counts. <laughs> What's, that? What's that supposed to mean? I didn't mean that. Wait, Dylan, wait. wait. I 
wanted us to slow down and start a family. I was happy to be just us and our careers. But I kept forgetting things. I... That's sad. That's really sad. I got confused. I forgot myself. But then you were gone. And I forgot that too. I don't want to be alone and confused anymore, Dylan. Oh my god. We can be together now. Seriously? Um, wow. That game hit deep. It, it makes you think about some of the things that happen out there. Some people can't control that they have forgetfulness, and you have those with dementia. You could forget something as simple as losing your loved one. everyone out there to do not just me but yourself a favor and remember to tell those that you love that you love them before you forget this was a really good game I'm kind of at a loss for words with this one everyone out there holds their loved ones close and remember how important they are and remember how important you are memories may fade but love doesn't not when it's true alright everybody um 
think that's it for this one. I will see you all in the next stream. Remember to love each other and smile as much as you can. See you all next time.